Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and though we may share a planet and many other similarities, our bodies function in some majorly different ways. In this video, we'll take a look at some of those differences unique to women. Women between the ages of 12 and 50 years old undergo a monthly cycle in which their uterus prepares for pregnancy. It prepares for a fertilized egg to settle and grow into a baby. If pregnancy does not occur, the lining breaks down and is expelled from the uterus. This is known as menstruation. The menstrual cycle usually lasts about 28 days. During this period, women undergo drastic hormonal fluctuations as well as physical discomforts such as abdominal cramps, headaches, backaches, and general nausea. This has led to it being colloquially referred to as the curse. The first stage of the cycle is menstruation and occurs if the egg has not been fertilized. This lasts between three to seven days and is more commonly known as a period. Because the egg has not been fertilized, the uterus lining, called the endometrium, is not needed, and hence it breaks down and is lost through the vaginal canal with some blood. The next stage is known as ovulation, and is when the woman is most fertile. After menstruation, the lining of the uterus thickens up again in preparation for a fertilized egg, and inside the ovary, a follicle develops. At about 14 days into the cycle, an egg is released from the follicle in the ovaries and fertilization could take place. If the egg is fertilized and embeds itself in the thick uterine lining, the lining is not shed and thus menstruation does not occur and the woman becomes pregnant. If it doesn't manage to embed, then the lining will break down and menstruation will occur and the cycle is repeated. The menstrual cycle is controlled by two main hormones, estrogen and progesterone. We met these hormones in this video. Estrogen is produced by the ovaries and causes the uterus lining, the endometrium, to thicken again after menstruation so that it is ready to receive an embryo. Progesterone is produced by the empty follicle in the ovary. See how it is produced after the egg has been released and then drops off if the egg does not embed in the uterus or if the egg is unfertilized. But if the egg is fertilized and embeds, then progesterone levels stay high for the first six and a half months of pregnancy. The follicle continues to produce it and a placenta is formed. So estrogen builds up the uterus lining and progesterone maintains it during the second half of the menstrual cycle. There are two other hormones also involved. The follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and the luteinizing hormone or LH. Both FSH and LH are secreted by the pituitary gland. FSH causes the egg to mature in the ovary and it also stimulates the ovaries to release estrogen. The estrogen then stops FSH being produced so that only one egg matures in the cycle. LH causes the mature egg to be released from the ovary and stimulates the release of progesterone. You may want to browse the internet to learn more about these hormones. So from this video you should now have a better understanding of how the menstrual cycle works, how the main hormones estrogen and progesterone control it and how a woman's body is affected by these drastic changes.